I just want to sit and tell you all, well, share my vision board, but I want to make me a, a fruit smoothie first. So this, oh, let me tell you all a funny story <laughs> about this smoothie. So I was at the supermarket. Let me fix this. I was over in like the, um, the beer section because I was getting, um, I was trying to decide to get like this, the mango flavor. It's called, you know, mango margarita, but it's no, it's no alcohol or anything in it, you know. Just like the little syrup, I was trying to decide between, decide between that one and the strawberry margarita mix, right? So I'm there and I'm like, hmm, which one should I get? So I called my, um, I was talking to my daughter and she's only seven. And I was like, hmm, Olive, which one do you think you want? You want to try the, um, the strawberry or the margarita, I mean, or the, the mango? And she like, I don't really like no mango, you know? So there was a lady who was there and she just kept looking like, like, what, what is she doing, you know? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe we'll just get both. I said, I said, you may like the mango. I said, I'll make it tonight and then you just tell me what you like. So the woman, she was a, she was older, she was older than, than I am. So she came over and she said, I hope you don't get offended. <laughs> she said, I hope you don't get offended because I'm not trying to offend you, but I really have to step in for the children if I see something is going wrong. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, something going wrong? Like, what's happening? And I was like, well, what child? Like, you know, I'm looking down her aisle like, what child? And then she was like, oh, because you're here and you're asking your child about um, alcohol. And I was like, alcohol? And then, you know, I'm looking at the things. Oh my gosh, I laughed so hard. I was like, Okay, so yeah, I understand what you're saying now because, you know, it's margarita. I said, but I'm not making margarita with these kids. I was like, please, please, you sh I'm not. I said, we are making fruit smoothies and I am putting some of the syrup in it to add more of the fruity flavor. I said, I'm not making no alcohol, no margaritas with these kids. She was so relieved. She was like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy to hear that. I was so scared that you... You know, that you were um, maybe, like, you know, just giving your kids, like, alcohol. They're so young. I was so scared. I was laughing, like, mm, mm, mm. I thought that was funny. But, I mean, it was understandable because I wasn't I was like, oh, snap. I am in the beer, all. <laughs> but we were at the regular supermarket, you know. But, so, man, I am, in, I am in the beer, all. Asking the kids what flavor they want. And it is called mango margarita and strawberry daiquiri. You know, that happens to me a lot. Like, I always be looking, like, I have so many instances where I'm looking like kind of suspect, but I don't really be doing nothing, but it just don't look right. You ever do that? Like, you're so weird. It, it just don't look right. It's, and you ain't doing nothing. That happens to me all the time. I'm going to put some lime in this, too. Do you all make yourselves, like, just random fancy drinks? Like, just, just random fancy stuff, like... I do it all the time, and I do it um, for the kids, too. So when they get older, they're going to get on somebody's nerve. Wait, hold on one second. Now, I was going to skip this part because I'm like, oh, I'm just using the blender. But when I seen this part and seen the fuzzball that is my hair, I was like, wait, what? Okay, let me tell you about these braids real quick. So first off, these braids took me three days to put in. I have no idea why it took me so long, being that I don't have that much hair. So I, I don't even know what that was about. And um, these braids only been in for like 24 days. Like, And the reason why I know the exact days is because I literally counted because I could not believe how fuzzy my hair is. I should have took a picture of how neat they were in the first place. I'm taking this mess out. I'm taking these braids out literally right now as I'm recording this. All right. I don't know where that, that piece is and I'm sure my kids don't have no idea. So there's literally no point of asking them. I want to share my um, vision board with you all. And I'm so excited about it because I've never really um, did like a vision board. Like I, um, like I usually just like, like do like little doodle notes like like I write down like my my goals for the year you know or what I want to do or you know what I'm aspiring to but I never really did like an actual board so this was um kind of fun to do and then it like really 
I feel like it kind of holds me a little bit accountable. Let me tell y'all about, so this is the board. So let me get it me a little bit more. So let me tell y'all about like, each little thing. So, well, the first thing I say is I have up here women. And that's just because I really do think like as women, we should boost each other up more. We should compliment each other more and we should just really celebrate like ourselves. Like that's why I have, you know, women up there because I just want to celebrate us through this channel. And this is, you know, profit because I really do hope that like, you know, dressing me does have it in, well, right now I'm not earning anything, <laughs> but I do hope that um, I will begin to earn like some profit. And you know what? And profit to me is not all money. It's also um, like just getting around YouTube, like my videos getting around YouTube more, like getting more of an audience, gaining more subscribers. Like it's not just like actual like earning money. It's, it's really just growing. Like that's, you know, that's what profit means to me. And God is good because God is good. And um, also like to be happy. Sometimes like when I first started um, this channel, which was, yeah, really, really recently, you know, and even up until now, like I have a lot of fun with this channel. Like I am inspired by fashion, like everywhere. I'm very happy with this channel, but I do know that like sometimes when you start to put um, like, when it becomes like a job and like you are trying to earn it like some money and you're trying to get the subscribers and you're trying to have it grow and stuff like that that it can become like a source of stress and like you're trying to have the perfect youtube video and oh my goodness like that is like a big thing but i was so happy to um to hear like other youtubers that i watched who was kind of saying like the same thing who was saying like, I'm gonna take like the pressure off myself. Everything is not perfect. It's not gonna always be like super great all the time. So like, it was kind of nice to hear that from, you know, YouTubers that I love because, you know, they who already been in it like for a while to be like, okay, like, you know, I just don't want something that, you know, you start off with because you're into it, turn into like just a job that you're like, never mind like it is too much so like that's why i have here like be happy like no matter what's going on like this this can get five views and you know and i'm still going to be happy with it and i'm still just keep moving i'm gonna just keep moving regardless so that's that this is obadiah he is my oldest son my family is pictured on here because as i grow they grow we're gonna all grow together this is a picture of my husband and i we are a military family we were at a Military ball in Texas, I think. I forgot. I, no, yeah, it was in Texas at the military ball. This is um, my daughter. She got herself dressed that day. She was so happy. So there she is. And this is my my middle child. And um, this picture is hilarious to me because we were actually in we were in um, Disney. And um, we were in, I don't know if you um, you guys been in the um, Toy Story land or whatever. And it's like, like you're actually in Toy Story, whatever. And they have a game. Like, so you're in the game, like you're the characters and stuff. And I was in there and I was doing so well. And I was like, oh man, I'm killing this game. So like when my son came out, I said, oh, go stand over there, babe, because that's a good place. I said, I was doing so good in that game. I think I was beating you. He was like, what? Mom, you was never winning. Like, never, not one time. Like, literally, right now, you're in last place from everybody who was playing. And I was like, what? Uh, what I am? Like, it was so funny. And I was like, just get over there and take the picture, boy. But it was so funny. So, like, I saw I put this picture here. And here, he's smiling so hard because he was laughing at me because I swore I was doing something. And I look at that picture and it makes me smile. Like, it was such a good time. Like, oh, dang. Oh. Um, also, this is um, Winnie Harlow, and I love her, and I love this dress, but, like, I love her, and I feel like she is the, um, she is definitely a model, of course, who don't look like your classic uh, models, but nevertheless is absolutely beautiful and should definitely be a model, but, like, I love that she don't look like um, everybody else, and with, like, she has the, um, the skin condition, you know, but no matter what, like what, what would have maybe made like other little girls who 
will hide from, you know, from that or having a skin condition. You can look up Winnie Harlow and see that she's beautiful, she's amazing, and she's a model despite it. So like, um, I really like her and, you know, I like that dress. And um, Sierra and I have um, Rihanna and these are just um, women who fashion like I, um, I really enjoy. Rihanna is by far my favorite fashion girl. Like I absolutely love her style. Like I love her style. I, I follow her on um, Instagram and you know, I just randomly would look up like, I would randomly like Google Rihanna street style and stuff because I just think she always looks so nice. Like she's so fashionable to me. So I, that's why I like she's here. And even here she has on like a pink fur coat. Like she's, she really can dress like, I love her. I also love Sierra's style. I think that it is, um, she's, she's good at doing up and down. Like I love like how she can go from like, you know, how this got like a tomboy, like look, that's what I love about her. I feel like her style is so versatile. Like she can go, like high, high fashion, but also she could look so cute wearing like a baseball cap to the back and like cute jeans and a half top. Like she's so versatile. This is um, Zendaya. Zendaya also have good style, but the main point of this picture is because she's on the red carpet and I just feel like one day, like, you know, and that's why next to uh, the picture is a day on the red carpet, I have the Lord will guide you always. And like, I just feel like because one day, I don't know in what aspect or what I will be wearing or why I will be there exactly. But one day I will walk on the red carpet. I will be wearing some designer something for something. I do not know yet, but I feel like it's coming for me and I'm gonna claim it and claim it and claim it. And I already know that the Lord will guide you always. So if it's for me and I pray that it is, I will be there. But that's what her picture represents because she's wearing a beautiful gown on the red carpet. And this is Coachella. I definitely want, now, I, I'm, I'm guess we're gonna go back to Coachella, Coachella in like 2025, who, who knows? But when we are all back in the swing of things, like I wanna be at Coachella and I don't want to pay for it. And what I mean by that is like uh, the same, what is, I was trying to see what my dog was doing. The, it's like in the same the same vibe like i hope to be there representing a brand like you know and like i have um you know just representing a brand and i'm at coachella to let everybody know who i'm wearing you know stuff like that like but that's definitely a goal that i want to do this bottle of water this is to remind me to drink my water because drink your water and then this was the funniest thing because i actually have this bottle which was so cool that i found a picture of it so i thought it was cool and i am actively well not this minute obviously but like i am actively trying to drink this is a gallon trying to drink a gallon of water like every every day and so far i have drunk like i can do a half a gallon but then like after that like i'm done with it like, I'm done with all this water. So I'm having the hardest time getting this down. See, but this is on my board because you need to stay hydrated. Like you need to drink your water. It is important to your health, to your skin. Drink your water. And I'm talking to myself because instead of the water right now, I'm having a daggone fruit smoothie. See what I'm saying? It's the dumb stuff. But I drink it, I drink it. So. I thought that was cool because, yeah. Now this is the beautiful Lupita and I love her as well. And she's on the cover of Vogue. I would, I would love to be featured in the Vogue magazine. I, would, I wanted that for like almost whole, my whole entire life, which is a little bit funny because like back then, you know, we wasn't really in the Vogue, but um, times are changing. <laughs> so, I would love to be in Vogue. I don't have to be on no cover or nothing like that, but it would be awesome if you could flip the pages and you could see me standing there doing something, something. So I love that for me and I'm gonna believe it for me. And this is pray, see, because if I pray and ask God, we ask not, we have not because we ask not. You know, and that's another reason why like I love this board because um, it reminds me that I can have everything, I can have everything up here. I can complete these goals. I can take my family with me and all I gotta do is ask God to please 
help me along, keep giving me keep giving me ideals, keep giving me plans, like keep pushing. Like I just gotta keep pushing. This is a picture of Paris and New York Fashion Week because I also want to be there. I definitely want to be, um, I don't live far from New York because um, I am in Jersey, so I don't live far from New York. But even though I'm not far from New York, I've never been in New York Fashion Week because I've never had a reason to be invited to New York Fashion Week. So like, I would love to go, me and the plus one, so I can take my best friend with me, she's already in New York, and I would love to go and be a part of it, like, and just see what's going on. It would be an awesome experience. I already love New York anyway, but it would be an awesome experience to go ahead and go. And then I would also love to be, let me put this on the floor. I would also love to go to Paris to their fashion week as well. I've never been to Paris, so in general, I wouldn't mind it. But like to be in Paris for the purpose of fashion week, for the purpose of fashion week would be completely awesome. Completely awesome. This is, you know, my subscribe button because if you are watching this and if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe. When I look back at my, um, oh my gosh, this chair is in when I look back at my analytics um, and see like who's watching and who's subscribed and not subscribed and who's watching, it's like, I think it was about like 85% of the people who are watching um, my videos are not subscribed. Now, if you know you really don't want to be here, you know, you shouldn't come. You know, because like, of course, if you don't, if you don't like it here, then you shouldn't be here. But if you do like it here and you enjoy my videos and stuff like that, please subscribe. It helps me out and it's just, it's nice to do it. <laughs> so just please subscribe and then, you know, come over here with us. And you know, I put just with me down here because that's what this whole board is about. And oh, no wait, I can say that last. And this is, Oh, here is a picture of, of me, of course. And this picture means a lot to me because how short my hair is. Like like I said before, when I first got um, my hair cut, this was the um, lowest my hair has ever been in my whole entire life. And um, I always kind of wanted to cut my hair, but I always felt like if I did cut it, that I was cutting, I would be like, I just wouldn't look nice. Like I would be like, I don't know. It just wouldn't suit me. I wouldn't look nice. I wouldn't have hair to hide behind anymore. Like, uh, you know, because I, when, after I cut my hair, I realized that I kind of did use, um, hair to kind of like hide my face a little bit or hide like stuff you know that I just didn't like and I really did use my hair as a tool for that so when I cut my hair I didn't think of it deeply I just really went on the fly and just like I'm gonna cut it and then like within like two days I found um a barber and like within like the second or third day just on a whim hair gone so um so it really, I didn't allow myself to start thinking about it so, so much that, um, that, uh, I ended up not doing it. But when I came home and I was looking, I was like, Oh, I guess it's not so bad. And then like within the next couple of days, cause at first I was kind of like, Oh snap, like I, I don't have no hair and I'm not used to it. But like when I was going through my phone and I seen, um, that picture of myself and I was like, oh my gosh, like my hair is so short and it really does look so nice. Like I really didn't realize that I can wear my hair that low and that like, you know, that like my features are like, you know, my features are not perfect. I'm not like, you know, the perfect person walking around or anything like that, but I don't look bad and I don't need to hide, um, behind my hair. Hair didn't make, you know, didn't make or break anything. And you know, I can wear it long or I can wear it short and um, it looks just fine. And this down here is the YouTube monetization eligibility check mark. And that is what I am hoping for before 2021 is over. 
I really do hope I could be monetized. I am, I am glad because I did meet the subscriber um, threshold, but you need 4,000 watch hours in a year and to able to be able to be um, monetized plus your subscribers and it doesn't like roll over. So in 2020, I had, um, I forgot how many hours I had, but like, you know, I was like on my way, but when I got to 21, 2021 and I looked back and all of those were like, so sad, goodbye. You're starting from the top. So like, yeah, I'm starting from the top with the watch hours, but I believe that I've reached the 4,000, um, the 4,000 watch hours. So, you know, I'm not too worried. And again, no matter what, like YouTube is supposed to be um, fun and YouTube is a, a way to just, for me to, you know, have a good time and to just do like what I love. So it goes back to just like the be happy thing. Like I don't want to get so caught up into get monetized, get monetized, get monetized that, that I'm not having like a good time anymore. So I think that's everything. Oh, oh wait, no, the last thing is, is that um, this is a check. It was a blank check that um, I found and I filled it out and I'm, I made the date for December 31st of 2021. Um, and I made it for pay to the order dress with me for $20,000. And I put like, you know, for me, you know, because I um, hope that by the end of the year, I could have made at least $20,000. Like, I, and I'm gonna tell you something, like these, these goals, these are definitely, these, I should say these prayers are definitely prayers because when I tell you that like, just like I was saying that like the, the watch hours I had from last year all got, you know, it was done. It was just for the year. So like when I say that like I'm starting from scratch concerning watch hours in 2021, which means like to actually be getting paid through YouTube is almost like starting from, from scratch. So like... Uh, for me to have written a check for myself for um, twenty thousand dollars, and I have absolutely no idea how I am getting there. Who is paying me twenty thousand dollars? Why they would be paying me twenty thousand dollars? But I serve a God who is good, and you know what? So I can put on the board on my board anything that I want, no matter who believes what or not believes and I can believe it and I can pray over my my own dreams and you know you never know I will refuse to limit myself and I will say that to everybody watching as well like you don't have to make a, a actual vision board I like vision I like visual stuff because like when I walk past it it just reminds me of what I'm working for and to take every day as an opportunity to go after it. So uh, you don't have to do a vision board, but I do encourage like everyone to somewhere, somehow like write down what you're after, no matter how crazy like it may sound or how crazy it may seem like it can and will be attainable. Like I'm not gonna limit myself and you, you guys shouldn't as well. Like we can do it, we got this. So now let's go put on these skins. So. We're gonna go ahead upstairs. All right. Now I put some tights and stuff on just so I won't be like, you know, up here like naked. I don't have no microphone, so I hope you all can hear me. I know I usually do split screen. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna try to, hmm, should I put it over my head? Oh my gosh, look how it is. It's on one leg and this is a dress. Maybe, maybe I'll put it over my head. This, you know what, I guess this is, oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't, I can't get it over my head. How in the world? Ah! Oh my gosh. Do I wonder if she wears her own stuff. <laughs> How in the world is she getting this on? Okay, so 
Like it's loose right here. Okay. Okay. I feel like it's backwards. I hope it's not. It is so, when I tell y'all, it is so tight right up in here. Okay, so down here is not as much compression. But right here, on your look, I feel like I'm out of breath. Oh yeah, I got the right way. Right here, or like your stomach area, is unreal. Like you, you can't breathe. Oh my gosh. Oh. I feel like it's all twisted up. Is it twisted? Almost fell. You can't really move this right here though. You can't, if it is twisted, it's gonna stay twisted. <laughs> I can't move that. Well, let me tell you something. This, this would be great under a dress. Because at least down here, like you gotta use the restroom, it's easy to pull this up down here because it's not as, it's not as tight. All the compression is right here on your stomach. But, I don't know, like, should it go down further or something? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But it... I, I would think that... I should I should have had a dress. I feel like I got them so many clothes. Let me put a dress on. Let me just put this on just to get an idea of how it, how it would look. I'm telling you y'all, it's like you can't even, you can't even merely move like the upper half of your body. have on tights and everything underneath and it's still it's still pretty smooth but yeah I guess it looks good yeah it looks good all right because at first I mean I'm starting to get a little bit a little bit leery like maybe this not it and like I said I got something underneath so I don't know I like that one it was hard to get on my goodness You would definitely have to take it down like this though. Because, oh my goodness, this part right here, this is unbelievably tight. Mm. Oh gosh. Whoa. Well, if you do want to put on a dress <laughs> and you want it to be smooth and that dress is tight, I guess. I guess that will work out because that was intense. All right, let's go with um, the shorts one. And this is a low back. So that's good, because maybe the low back. Oh, no, it's not helping me get into it. Um, I don't know. I feel like uh, I would have to save these for like a special occasion. See, and I am a um, a spank wearer. I feel like when you get dressed, like, look, I gotta kick my legs out. I almost feel like I can rip them. But, you know, 
what the hell they oh it's a well i hate to say like pee hole but it is a hole here so you don't really have to take it off to use the restroom i mean oh no i would take it off because you got to have perfect aim to be able to get through that hole like that <laughs> i don't know if you had a couple drinks you may want to go ahead and slide this down i don't know why i'm pulling up these well no i want to try to make these these tights like flat as i can okay okay so if you're for this one for this one if you're just like the last one too if you're looking for um your legs to kind of be pulled in or like really pulled together this one does have like a little bit of like on your on your legs the dress did not so the dress wasn't helping of course she looks smooth but it wasn't helping to pull like anything in but this one is and honestly, the compression on the dress is a little bit more than this one, but I feel like I like this one better because while it is really like compressing, but look, you, look how, I guess there's no support in like your butt. And you see how low it comes, like that's the whole point. So then you can wear it with the low cut dress, which is super cool because it is not a lot of spanks that that's cut this low in the back like that's really low that's cut that low in the back that you can wear a low cut dress and still have on your your skins so i think this one is pretty cool i'm gonna get a different dress This satin dress, this satin dress is extremely hard to wear if you if you don't have anything under it because if you have any type of cellulite or anything, this satin dress is highlighting it. So for it to look like smooth like that, that that's really good. And like how like flat, like I look right here, that's good. So I do like, um, I do like this one. I like this one a little bit better than the dress. And it's just because like you're able to get into um you're able to get into this one a whole lot easier than um than the dress. And like it's not like while it is um while it is like sucking you in and like making everything tight, like even up here on your chest, like is really sucking like everything in. You don't feel like you're about to collapse. Like, you, you can still breathe. That dress, you kind of feel like you're about to collapse. Now, the last item I got, and um, I don't know if a lot of people will get this, because I don't know how people, um, how other people feel and stuff in jeans. But again, like I'm saying, like I am a, um, a spank wearer. I'm, I'm gonna have a video of like my fashion secrets. Oh look, this have like the sticky band on it. I guess to help hold it up. Well, yeah, to help hold it up. So that's promising. This is unreal. I don't. I feel like I don't know if I can even get into these. I'm trying. Now I will put these under some under some jeans, and it's look. Oh gosh, if I can get them on because I'm gonna have a, like a video about my fashion secret, but the one thing I will say right now is, this is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Look, I already be taking like 
two, three hours to get, <laughs> to get ready. My goodness, if I was to add putting these on, on two, we, I need like another at least 40 minutes. Because this is crazy. Oh, but what I'm trying to say is, one thing is I wear Spanx um, all the time. Now, I will say that all of them, like I feel like I'm out of breath. All of them, this is, this is crazy. My goodness, like Kim, what was you doing? <laughs> What was you think about? How how snatch you got be, girl? Okay. Now I wear um I wear uh Spanx all the time. It's not always like you know super super compression and super snatched all the time, but I always have on um a Spanx. See. And I got these, my goodness. I got these hoping that I can get, um, wear these under my jeans. Because I wear a lot of jeans that are, um, I wear a lot of tight jeans. I wear loose jeans, but I wear a lot of tight ankle jeans. And I like for my clothes, no matter what, to look smooth. I just like a smooth look. Like it doesn't matter. Um, like where I'm going, whether it's important or not. Like, I like for my clothes to look well, like all the time. And um, I won't, I won't be wearing these under no jeans though. Like, <laughs> no, I, I, I really don't know where I would be putting these, these leggings on, or, or even why I would ever put these on again. <laughs> because this right here, this was crazy. But the way this waist is feeling like as it's coming up, this is feeling like you ready to pull up a straight jacket. And I ain't never been in no straight jacket, but I would think that this is how it feels like. Because my goodness, Woo. ah my gosh. See, and then they got that sticky. She got this sticky thing here, and it really is, like it really is sticky. Wow. Let me pull the leg up a little bit more because I have more. I have more room. Is it a pee hole? Oh, she got another, another hole to use to use the bathroom. That hole is not, it's not that big, but it's there. It's our shape, so you can, you can, if you sober, you probably, you can do it. If you're not sober, just pull a little down. But my gosh, by the time you get them down, you may be better just going through the hole. All right, okay. Well, that was a task. That was a task. See, and look, and this one is for, okay, so a lot of the compression. Well, I will say that the compression is good all the way down your leg. It is, it's good all the way down your leg, but it's extra double compression up here. Because remember, I even have on tights and look, you can't even see my tights. You can't even tell that I have the tights on. Like you can't. Now this one now, and this this right here truly is because of the, the stocking hand like rolled over. That's what you're saying with that. But I don't know, this may be a really good one because it's awesome that you can't even tell that I have on the tights. Like, it, it's still that smooth that you can even wear <laughs> something underneath it and it's still smooth. Now, this is a good legging. Let me show you guys all the way at the bottom. And it do, it goes, the compression truly is 
all the way to your ankle. Like, it's not much stretch. So I guess if you wanted to wear, you wanted to make those pants look great, like a great pair of pants, or just really, really look nice in your jeans, like a nice smooth look in your jeans, these are definitely it. These are these are definitely it. I'm I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised at how of how smooth this is <laughs> and the compression. Now I will say like they're not comfortable. They're not comfortable okay, at my all. camera is acting crazy. But I this is not for a comfortable night. This is for I came here, I won't be here long. I want to look smooth, I want to look snatched. That's the night that these is for. Other than that, no. I got three pieces and I paid $198 total for them, including like, you know, well, shipping was free. So including tax, it came to $198. So they are expensive, but I really do feel like, I'm trying to think, do I feel like they're worth it? Because I kind of feel like they are. If you wanna, like if you want an everyday spank and you do wanna be comfortable most of the time, then I wouldn't get these. Like I wouldn't get these. But if you are like someone who's not necessarily too, too concerned with being like super comfortable and you really do, you just wanna look amazing in that dress or you just wanna walk around look, looking smooth and you know, snatched and all of that, then these are good for you. Like then, like these are pretty good, but um, everyday wear, no. But I do think that they are, they're a good investment, I feel like, because I don't, you wouldn't need anything else. Like you wouldn't need anything else. I would think that if you, if you wanna get some skims, really go on the, um, the site and really look at the pieces that she has because she also has some with like the shorts is, um, is only one leg. So if you got like that one leg dress, like that satin dress, like, then you can have that one on and your leg is out and you won't have to worry about trying to hide your, your spank. So she do have different ones that may be, that may be more suitable for like the type of clothes that you, um, you wear. But just to let you know that these three pieces did come to about $200. So they are a little bit on the upper end, but I like them, I'm gonna keep them. So uh, I do hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like I'm out of breath because I'm still wearing these um, these tights and they pushing my stomach in. But anyway, that's neither here or there. <laughs> um, I do hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will catch you on the next one. Bye. Okay, I forgot to show the packaging. So one came in like this paper lunch bag and um, these two boxes all wrapped up in like this paper cardboard. And for reference, all of my skims were in large and extra large. Okay, so for real now. Bye guys. <laughs>